If you're after a stylish, affordable and practical family SUV, then your decision is about to become just that little bit more difficult. This is the all-new Volkswagen Tiguan, and it's bigger, better looking and more desirable than it has ever been before. There are flashes of the Passat in the new Tiguan, with the chrome-vented grille, wide but narrow headlamps and defined shoulder line that stretches back to the tail lamps. Go for a top-spec R-Line model and Volkswagen will also throw in a set of chunkier bumpers and larger alloy wheels. Seeing as we're in the German capital, let's see how it copes with life in the urban jungle. The first thing you notice from sitting behind the wheel is just how refined the Tiguan actually is. The engine's nice and quiet, there isn't much wind kicked up by the wing mirrors, and generally just quite a nice and relaxing place to sit. Now, despite recent events, a massive 95% of Tiguan seals will be diesel powered, and the one we have here is the 148 brake horsepower 2 litre diesel, paired with a 7 speed DSG and 4 wheel drive. Now, that sort of combination will make up a huge chunk of that overall percentage and it's really easy to see why. The engine's nice and smooth, it's nice and quiet and with 340 newton meters of torque, 0 to 62 is done in around 9.3 seconds, which for a family of five is about as quick as you're ever gonna need to go. Now, for an SUV of this size, it's one of the only ones around that is available with adaptive dampers. It's far from uncomfortable to begin with, but if you select comfort mode, it just takes that initial degree of sharpness out of the ride. And when you're on 20 inch alloys as we are here, that's a pretty good thing. As for the steering, well, it strikes a nice balance between weight and feel, but none of these sorts of cars are particularly sporty or engaging to drive. So it's smooth, quiet and comfortable on the road, but how about off it? Thanks to four motion four wheel drive and a bespoke off-road mode featuring hill descent, for the rare few that will be tackling tougher terrain, you can be safe in the knowledge that the Tiguan is up to the job. For dedicated off-roaders, an option definitely worth having is the 360 degree camera, which gives you a helping hand in those tight or tricky situations. 200 millimeters of ground clearance and decent approach and departure angles mean the Tiguan is one of the more accomplished off-roaders in its class, as you can see. Prices start from just under £22,500 and rise to around £35,000 for top spec models, which does make the Tiguan quite expensive. But even after a few minutes inside the new Tiguan, you can tell there's been a huge step up in terms of quality, perhaps even enough to give BMW drivers something to think about. Now, the overall design and layout will be largely familiar. There are a few new touches, such as this 12.3 inch digital display behind the steering wheel, which keeps it one step ahead of its closest rivals in terms of tech. So up front, it's more sensible than stylish, but what's it like in the back? One thing the Tiguan isn't short on is space, and back here, there's absolutely acres of the stuff. You could comfortably fit three adults back here without too many complaints, as head and legroom are both very good. And that's down to the new MQB platform the Tiguan is now based on. It's about 30 millimeters wider and 60 millimeters longer than before. And that doesn't sound like much, but it means there's a whole lot more space inside. As for the boot, the Tiguan beats the Nissan Qashqai and Mazda CX-5 when it comes to carrying capacity. Space has increased by 50 litres to 520 litres, and you can slide the rear seats forward slightly if you need more room. The old Tiguan is hardly what you would call unsuccessful. Volkswagen sold over 2.6 million of them around the world during its eight years on sale, but this new model is better in almost every single respect. It's bigger, it's more stylish, and a lot more capable than it was before. Now, that does come at a price, however. The new Tiguan is several thousand pounds more expensive against equivalent rivals, but it does everything you could ask of a five-seat SUV, and it does it to a very high standard.
Click on the left video to watch our review of the Renault Kadja and on the right to see our verdict on the top 10 SUVs on sale today. Click on the play icon to watch our latest video and on the Auto Express logo to subscribe to our channel.